Hey y'all, welcome back to Kina. Sorry that I look crazy. I just came from the gym. Um, and also, excuse my lighting. I, I can't get it right in this new place. Like, I don't know. I just can't get it right. But anyway, um, I had ordered some herbs. I've been trying to get back into my teas, my herbal teas, and then drinking them daily because I've slacked off on that so bad. So I figured while I was unboxing everything, I also bought some stuff from my house. So I may pull random things out of these boxes because there are quite a few um but the focus today are on the herbs and i've been trying to find herbs for iron and blood pressure so every herb that i bought and i will on my phone um as i pull out each herb i will let you know what they're for as best as i can from what i found um but yeah so i've been trying to drink them twice a day it's best to drink your teas three times a day like if you most protocols go by three times a day I don't have that type of time even if I prepare for three times a day like I'll make my tea in the morning and I'll make enough for me to have for later in the day I also don't drink it so I'm slacking it's just it's just hard three times a day on anything is just really difficult for me it's very difficult um and then I'll come home later and I'll drink one before I go to bed which is nice because it's like soothing so I will first go over the ones that I've already unboxed because I had started using them I brought I've been buying them over the course of like the past two weeks some of them are raw herbs and then I think I bought like two tinctures if I'm not mistaken but these are the things I'm going to try to try to take um I do have a cardiology I do have a cardiology appointment in about two weeks just to see what's going on make sure everything's all right because my biological father did die of a heart condition um and with this blood pressure that they can't figure out, we're calling it essential blood pressure, which is crazy to me. I have to figure it out. I'm not the type of person who just, um, I can't just accept that you say this is what it is and that's that. No, we're going to figure out what the problem is. So until then, um, because they, again, tried to put me on, let me, they put me on the urgent care when I took my blood pressure one day and it was like really high. So my cousin was like, just go to urgent care. And I did, and it was high. And I let them know that, you know, I've been battling with hypertension on and off for quite some time. So they put me on hydrochlorothazide. Chloro oh, I said it right. Hydrochlorothazide, 25 milligrams, one tablet uh, by Mount Daly. And it did the exact same thing that that pill did years ago. It made, it made my heart race and beat really hard. So I stopped taking it. And I'm just going to go ahead and talk to a cardiologist and see if we can just do testing to see what's going on just like regular stuff um like i've had i have i've had ecgs and ekgs i think within the past year and they were normal of course but i'm gonna ask them to do a stress test and probably do another um echocardiogram just to be sure because you know i just don't trust it and i don't know what it is and it's not like i feel like i live a pretty decent lifestyle like that's the part that's always tripping me out like i work out i eat decent like i don't eat meat outside of fish like I'm doing everything y'all tell y'all say people are supposed to do to keep their blood pressure under control. So I don't know what the problem is. Um, but let me go ahead before I start rambling. So I purchased a few herbs, some are raw herbs, just like regular barks and flowers. And then I have, I think like two tinctures in one of these boxes, but I'm going to start with what I've already been using. Um, first one being, I bought this one first, so it's already in a jar and I do store all of my herbs in glass jars. Um, glass uh, airtight drawers. This one is burdock root. Um, let me see. Let me figure out what. Um, damn, I, sh I should have been prepared. But I wasn't. Okay. So burdock, um, like I said, all of my herbs are for iron and blood pressure hypertension um to be exact uh burdock root is one of the best blood purifiers without causing nausea or irritation and i'm reading off of a herb book that i have some some are from like excerpts from that and some are just random facts that i found um but blood <laughs> burdock is one of the best blood purifiers without causing nausea or irritation it helps reduce swelling and deposits in the joints and arthritis Used internally and externally for skin problems. The burns are used for water retention. The leaves are used for... Oh, the burrs, sorry. Um, the leaves are used exter externally for burn skin problems and wounds. I shouldn't have read that because... 
there's also a list. I'm just going to go, I'm going to pull from the list on what I feel like, what I've always known for it to work for, which is um, acne, allergies, arthritis, blood purifier, like we said. It is used for boils and burns. Um, it's a blood purifier. We've already said that. Cleansing, dandruff, energy fatigue, gallbladder stones, um, hemorrhoids, kidney, liver, lungs, lymph glands, uh we've already said nervous disorders yeah it's it pretty much is used for everything to be honest um i've i've used this these are this is one of the first herbs i've ever bought um because it was all always recommended it was always like sea moss burdock roots um what's the other one next to sea moss that i can't use because when you when you use certain things please do your research like i used to be heavy into herbs like i actually have herbalism certifications um please make sure you know how what ailments you have already and what you should should not use can cannot use if you're pregnant like things like that like for example people who have hyperthyroidism and even though I don't have it because I have nodules it my body acts as if I have hyperthyroidism you should not be using sea moss you should not be using anything high in iodine um dang what's the other one called y'all know what I'm, it's like it's another one of those, I think it starts with a W. I don't know why I can't think of it right now, but it's a really popular um, C herb or whatever you want to call it. Um, I forgot what my point was. Either way, those were the ones I was uh, getting into when I first started, when I first got into herbs. Burdock root, it was like burdock root dandelion, sea moss, and whatever that other one is that I cannot think about. But it's one of those high mineral herbs um, that comes from the ocean pretty much. Um, yellow dock, which is very yellow. This is the residue. I haven't put in a jar yet. Did I mention that you should store your herbs in jars? I can't remember if I did or did not, but you should st store your herbs in airtight glass jars. Um, yellow dock was the next one. I got this one for iron. It's high in iron, but I will go over what it says here which is, it's good for acne, anemia, the blood purifier, uh, helps fight cancer, diabetes, um, energy, fatigue, fever, fractures, I'm not sure what it does for fractures, gallbladder, skin problems, liver issues, pituitary gland, um, tumors, ulcers, I'm just going to read the little excerpt they have, yellow dock acts as a natural iron in the system which is what I have it for. Especially good as a blood purifier and a body cleanser. It is helpful for ulcerated eyelids, I didn't know that, uh, for, and for itching. Used internally or in a bath. I didn't know that either. I would assume this would stay in your bath. I, I wouldn't put this in a bath. But Yellow Dock was the second one. Um, one I swear by and one that actually tastes pretty good is hibiscus flower and this is for blood pressure. Um, it's supposed to help lower blood pressure. So if you do not know how to prepare herbs, I can briefly go over what you should do with your barks and roots. Those you boil. You do not boil flowers or leaves. Again, do not boil. Do not mix everything and boil it in a pot. You make things separately. So you boil your barks and roots after they're done boiling and you turn the water off. Then you steep flowers and leaves. You do not boil flowers leaves so after I boil mix I don't well I'm all over the place as usual so I do mix equal parts equal parts from my herbs and sorry barks and roots boil those and then I mix equal parts of my leaves and flowers and steep those after um but hibiscus is used for a bunch like a bunch of different things but I'm gonna again I use it for blood pressure and I'll go over what this says Um, and what they have is prevents hair loss, um, anti-inflammatory, rich in oxidant, antioxidants, it lowers blood pressure, protects liver health, promotes weight loss, fights cancer, reduces stress, and relieves menstrual pain. It's also like, I've seen people use it for skin, it's supposed to be good, like as a collagen source, I've never tried that, but I heard that, I've heard that a lot as well. So those are the ones that are already open and I've already been using. Um, so let me go over, which one of these boxes, where are my scissors? 
all right let me see everything else will be unboxed because i have a bunch of boxes that i have not opened yet so let's see um i also just have i do have a supplement as well so everything is not an herb i have two supplements so i don't know what what's in what and this is oh, i think these are so these are the tinctures the first one that i got is hawthorn berry which is a blood pressure herb yeah for circulation all right so let's see what that one says i should have studied this but i wasn't going to do this video and i was as i'm unpacking things i'm like let me just go ahead and share what i bought so I'll read the excerpt. Uh, Hawthorne regulates both high and low blood pressure, which I did not know. I knew it was good for high blood pressure. I didn't know it regulated low blood pressure. It strengthens the muscle and nerve to the heart, helps promote, oh, hoof, helps prevent miscarriage. The fruit has good drawing properties such as poultice. I'm not sure what that is. Poultice? I don't know. Hawthorne make uh, cause dizziness if taken in large doses so it is i have read that it's pretty much good for anything heart related like if you have chf or weak blood vessels like anything heart related is supposed to be good for but now i'm concerned but i'm sure it's a dose on here so we'll see and my my plan with this is to just put it in my tea eventually i'll order some hawthorne berries but this stuff herbs get expensive after a while and hawthorne the berries were very expensive um, when I was in Atlanta, I would just go to Health Unlimited, which is my favorite store. I would go there on a Sunday and like spend hours in there at the herb station. Um, so if you live in, in Atlanta, it is on, I want to say it's in Decatur or is it a Vondal Estates? In the Decatur area, in that area, um, across from, it's like a Publix Plaza, but that's where I would get all my herbs from. And it was just, you meet so many people, like people who are healing and things like that. Like I met this lady who suffered from alopecia in there and her hair was moving down her back and she all she used was herbs so we sat in there and talked for a long time um so if you live in the Atlanta area I think you should check them out it's just a health store so they have a bunch of stuff in there but they have like a wall well, it's not even a wall it's like a corner of walls full of herbs and it used I used to go to a different store what was that store it's a co-op I can't remember what it was called that's where I started going. I don't remember where it's at though. And then something happened and they weren't selling herbs for a while, which was weird because that's what most people were going there for. And then I found Health Only did. And started going there. This one is... Oh shoot, I'm missing one. Because I used it today. I think I left it in the kitchen. This one is Red Clover. Um and it is also a blood oh it's a hormone imbalance because i do have the thyroid nodules that's what i got this one for so iron hormone balance and high blood pressure um ladies i haven't used this before i've never used tinctures before i normally only use like the actual herb but it makes your boobs grow. <laughs> I, that's a side effect that I did not know about until later on. But it's not going to grow drastically. But they definitely grow on this. When I when I was using the actual flower, it was, yeah, it was a good time. Alright, so this one is good for acne arthritis. It's a blood purifier, bronchitis, boils, cancer, um, it's a cleanser, flu, insomnia, nervous disorder, psoriasis, rheumatism, skin skin problems and tumor and then also for to restore fertility so it says this herb has been used to restore fertility it is a mild laxative i've never had an issue with that um especially good to calm nerves and cleanse the blood it helps to break up growth and tumors when used in combination with chaparral and other herbs um so if you struggle with being infertile Apparently this helps before I tell you too. I, I always knew red raspberry leaf did. And that's what I would tell people to take if they were trying to have babies. Which I am not. But I'm also not active. So it doesn't matter. It won't happen over here. <laughs> um, 
But yes, this one I picked up specifically for to balance out my hormones. Because I get really sick like before my period starts. Especially if my iron is low, which it is now because I ran out of my Floridex. But it's in one of, the, one of these boxes. So I haven't been on it for a little bit. And if my iron is low, I get so sick. This is not, this is not it. Wrong box. So another herb that I do not have in front of me that is already open and is in my kitchen somewhere is hydrangea root. And I bought that one for blood pressure. Let me see what it's for. I know it's for, what I bought it for is um, decalcification. So me just trying to figure things out. Like if I have a blockage somewhere or something is calcified and that's why my pressure is high, I want to start to, you know, try to break that up a little bit. So... Um, hydrangea root removes calcium deposits in soft tissue and will remove kidney stones. What else does it have? So it dissolves calcium deposits in soft tissue. It has been traditional, traditionally used to treat bladder and kidney disease and to dissolve kidney stones. It's repeated that a few times. And cleanse the, lymph the lymphatic system, which we all know is important. Um, and yeah, so I bought that strictly for decalcification if that's even a word just in case I mean it's not gonna hurt and I don't have kidney stones but it never hurts to improve your kidneys because when you have high blood pressure it does affect your kidney so there's that um next is this is not a tincture this is just oregano oil which I try to keep on me because you know oregano and black seed are things that I try to take all the time but I pretty much use oregano for my skin I have like mild eczema on my arms you can't see it because I've, it's pretty much gone now but I'll get it every now and then and I'll mix this with like some either black seed oil or my shea butter and it'll clear it up so they say oregano oil black seed oil is, is Possibly, or black seed in general is a cure all. What is it? Cure everything, anything but death. And oregano oil, I know it's good for like infections, like flu. Um, pretty much another cure all. So they say. But I stick with it, you know. It can't hurt. Again, it cannot hurt. And this, for us anemic girls, is like the best thing on earth. I recommend this for everybody. And it is Floridix which is a liquid iron and it's an all natural I'm show you why I wrapped it up like this I'm struggling um, and I forgot where I even found this I'm sure it's somebody on YouTube that's told me to get this and I've been using it for years um, they wrap the lights on this um Why am I tripping? Oh uh, yeah. Oh, these need a big box. I did not order this this bo this bottle, but that's what they sent me. I'm not gonna complain, but I ordered. I ordered a smaller bottle. What? What's what's the? Yo. I mean, I'm not complaining, but it's. I definitely ordered a smaller bottle. What size is this? This is a 50 milliliter, 500 milliliter bottle. I ordered, I think, like, it wasn't this one. Let me see. Let me see. Because uh -uh. it, it comes in two sizes. What do I do with my phone? I mean, like I said, I'm not complaining. What I don't like about Floridex is there's no plastic seal. That's what I do not like. So you can't tell if it's like been tampered with or not. I mean, you can, but I don't, be, I don't like trusting something. And when a bottle is weird like that, like it, it wasn't even. I don't know. I don't trust it. Anyway, I'm going to go back because I'm tripping about the size of this bottle. It's not what I ordered. Oh, dang, I can't get on because my, um, but I think it's like a, 
maybe a hundred or two hundred milliliter bottle. This is five hundred. Again, I'm not complaining, but it tastes very, very natural. That's the best way I could put it. But you get a little cup. I think you're supposed to take ten, ten milliliters twice a day. I I take more than that because I need more than that. But let me see what it says to do. Maybe it's twenty. This bottle is different. It doesn't. That's it. You take 20 milliliters, and I believe you take 10 milliliters twice a day. I double that because that's how bad my iron is. And it, it's natural. Like, it's not going to kill you unless you don't have anemia or iron deficiency and you're just taking it. Just take it. Don't do that because too high in iron is very dangerous. Just, like, too low in iron is. But it's just like a brown liquid. It tastes... I don't mind the taste. I actually think that it tastes pretty good. Oh, here it is right here. So, yeah, adults over 12 or adults and children over 12 10 milliliters twice a day preferably 30 minutes before your meals again I do 20 do not do that that is not what this bottle says that's just what I do but I have a severe iron deficiency again my ferritin was at zero percent at one point in time um so I double mine and I don't take any other iron sometimes I'll I'll take hemoplex every now and then but I feel like it doesn't really do anything for me same thing for the blood builder but it's possible that I just didn't stay on it long enough, but it didn't really do much for me. Um, so I don't take those and I don't think I have anything else. I think that was it. I'm trying to think. Did I order anything else? I think that's it. So I mostly have like barks, barks and roots, and then just the hydrangea flower is the only flower and then the rest are in tinctures. But yeah, um, I'm going to try to stay consistent, as consistent as I can for a month so I can let you guys know what the difference is. My pressure is a bit high. Well, it's more than a bit high. It's, pre it's, pretty, it's pretty high right now. Um, so hopefully this works. And then I'll come back and update you after I see the cardiologist in a week and a half and let you know. I don't think it's a week and a half. I think it's, like, I think it's the Monday after this upcoming Monday or Tuesday. Anyway, that's all. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions about, maybe I'll do like a video just making tea with you guys one day. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, uh, Michelle, I should have, I'm not prepared. I do have the box though. Oh, what a cute little, a cute little teapot. This is a box. I don't know if you can see what it looks like. I'll, I'll post a picture of it. But yeah, glass, 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 glass. Use glass teapots. Do not use anything else. Certain materials change the, the molecular structure of your herbs. Glass is not. So use glass to store and glass to make your, your teas. Um, but that is all. If you have any questions, please like, comment, and subscribe. This was a random video. Again, I was just about here. I bought a little console for an area in my room and a bunch of home decor. Um, this stuff... And then this stuff. So I just wanted to share because I know you guys, some of you guys complain that I don't put up, put out my videos enough. I'm rambling. So that's all I just wanted to share as I was unpacking and unboxing these things with you. What I got, um, if you have any questions, just let me know. Comments, suggestions as far as my issues right now. Um, everything else has been great. The anxiety is pretty much gone. Um... It's really just the blood pressure and the iron. And it's partially my fault because I don't eat enough iron rich food. So it's it's definitely, it's it's my fault. It's, I can't even like, my fault and because my periods aren't even as bad anymore. So it's me not, not eating well enough. My weight is back down because I'm not eating enough. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to get into a groove right now. Um, so... These are the type of videos that I'll probably be making for a little while between this and weight gain videos because that's my focus, fixing the blood pressure issue and keeping my iron intact and putting this weight back on because I'm down yet again, but it's my fault. I can't even complain. It's my fault. Um, but please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video.